Hey guys and welcome to your career reading. I've decided to do all the signs in one this time, starting with Libra. Okay, so Libra will be first as we're still in Libra season while I'm recording this. Um, it doesn't really matter when you see it. Um, I'm just letting you guys know. Okay, so Libra, Temperance and the Five of Chalices. Let's see. Judgment. Okay, it's a major arcana. But it, like I said, we are still in Libra season. So you may find major life changes. The masculine energy, Queen of Swords here, um, is very strong for you. Okay, right now with this air. So there's more added on. With Temperance here and the Five of Cups, um, you may be getting bored here at your workplace or maybe you don't have a job with the five of cups here, but you may just be getting bored of doing the same thing over and over again. So you could be looking for a new job or something interesting to do. You may feel restless in this um, work here. Queen of Swords. So you might end, it might come across as quite sharp at work but you should look for things that interest you things that you know you want to learn more about to help your mind grow there to stop you maybe lashing out and because people are taking you as cold at work maybe um so what you want to do look how bored she looks um yeah you've got to do something that interests you here follow your dreams And I feel like you're deciding it's, you know, time for a change, time for something new. And with the judgment card here, I think you're right. It is time to take a new path here, okay? So maybe if you're out of work, not to worry so much. With temperance here, something is coming in. You will have an opportunity to learn something new or move up in the job sector there. Um, maybe even something more to do with your life path with the queen of swords energy here um coming out very strong but like i said we are still in libra season at this time so that air energy for you gives you the extra energized and if you are stuck doing the same thing every day um you know it becomes mundane you become bored and quite sad and maybe even depressed doing the same thing every day because you're hearing your calling that you know a change is as good as the rest a change is coming here it's always an opportunity to change direction when it's around our solar return there okay some of you um who could be out of work here um maybe struggling a bit that you know with boredom as well here it's because you're so energized with the air energy um and like i said you just really need to go and put your energy into learning new things here higher learning um i feel like if you are taking job interviews you'll come across very confident as the queen of swords but be careful not to cr come across like cocky or something um, you know, they may take it the wrong way. It's just because you're motivated in your mind here, I feel, with the Queen of Swords. I feel like you're motivated in your mind, but you can't get your body to follow suit. <laughs> you know, you may have lots of ideas, but you just don't get up and do it. And I think it's because this boredom or depression here, you know, could be setting in of the same old cycle, you know, repeating the same thing every day. So I'd be careful of that, you know, with, with judgment, it is time to make a change. Let's pull you one of these cards here. Four of Autumn, manage your resources wisely, achieve a balance in how you spend and save money, help out those who are less fortunate than you. Okay, so maybe if you're not working at the moment, you know, you could do some volunteering and then maybe that helps you to 
learn a new trade or something like that okay maybe you don't want to that's fair enough um you know i'm just giving some suggestions here if money is a little bit tight because you're out of work um it's a good time for you to get your cv out there to push yourself okay like i said i feel like your mind has lots of creative ideas at the moment but your body seems to be not following suit but it be could be because like I say, this five of cups energy here, the depression sort of setting in or the boredom sort of setting in. Okay, guys. So let's move on to Scorpio. Let's see what's going on in your finances and career here. Strength. Okay, so... A good time for you guys to, um, you know, start putting good energy in, start taming the beast or the people who tell you, um, no, you can't do it. Um, let that be your motivator to prove to people here you have the strength to do whatever you want to do here, okay? Somebody has made you feel like you can't do something, you know, you've got to use that as a motivator here. Let's see. Four of Swords, okay, so maybe you're working very hard here and need rest. Um, like I always tell people, you know, the rest is as important as the grind. Ten of Swords, yeah. Okay, so you guys may be, you know, it's coming to the end of your year. Five of Cups as well. It's coming to the end of your year, Scorpio. So you could be feeling burnt out at this time, tired with the Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords here. It says, you know, you have the strength to do this. Just rest when you need to rest, okay? You could be feeling um, lonely and separated from people. Maybe maybe you have a job like me where, you know, you work on your own, Um or you just prefer to be on your own, but you've isolated yourself too much. Maybe things aren't going the way you wanted them to go in a job here, okay? You still have the strength card here. The major arcana will always trump the minor arcana, okay? So it overpowers all these. So no matter what you've been through or what you're going through, you have the strength to get through this. You have the uniqueness and the grace to get through this, okay? So if you've been going through these tough times, okay, you know, you may feel like I need a rest from it all, you know, I'm getting quite down now, you know, do as I did, go for a walk in nature, okay, with this strength card, here, go for a walk in nature, clear your mind here, rest your mind, because it seems like it's your mind that may need a rest, look, these are all swords, this ten of swords energy, you know, it's like, I've been down, I've been out here, and I still have to keep going. I know how that is, guys. I'm a Scorpio too. Um, so it's let me know it's more thoughts that may be challenging for you as we come to the end of your year, okay? And I say that because, you know, once we get back to your birth year, you know, Scorpio season there, um, you'll start to feel renewed. Everybody's tired at the end of the day, right? So yeah, I can understand you feeling tired and needing rest at the end of your year as we come back to your birthday but you have the strength to get do to do this okay don't focus on um what you don't have focus on what you do have the more you think positive the more positive things will come in so for you guys finances and career may feel like you know a bit challenging at the moment um but like i said the strength card will overpower all of these you know you have the strength to do this. If you need a rest, have a rest. Book a few days off work. If you don't have a job and you've got too much time to think, you need to um, focus on what you do have, okay? So you have your health or whatever, you know, um, and use that. Like I said, go for walks, get out, you know, clear your mind here because it seems like, you know, you have this beautiful strength card, but your mind may be, you know, just saying to you, I'm a, I'm tired, I'm tired, okay, but you're not giving up, okay, you may feel a little bit down, you may have felt a bit lonely, maybe career sort of, 
as your love life here maybe went a little bit if you're you know focusing on love here with the five of cups then maybe that's why love's filling your mind and tiring your mind when you really need to tame these thoughts tame these beasts here okay um don't let them overpower you making you doubt yourself um get a hold of that there and you know give your mind a whack <laughs> like she's like threaten your mind here like if you say another thing you know you're really gonna get it this time so shh quiet <laughs> yeah i think like you could be overthinking about um maybe even love here and it's sort of like having an effect on your career maybe while you're at work all you th can think about is your love life here or lack of love life or some sort of sadness here but regroup these thoughts pull them back together because you have the strength to overcome this okay um work will be um boring i think the four of swords i think it will be boring <laughs> i think everybody's feeling a bit bored in their everyday life let's see let's get a fairy tarot card here and see what's going on with your career or two okay we'll take two scorpios are greedy <laughs> okay so we have the emperor and it says, use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized, a fun but compassionate leader. Okay, and we have the Prince of Springs reversed. Okay, so that's the um, Knight of Wands in the normal deck. And it's reversed. The right way up, it would say, take immediate action, a challenge you can successfully overcome. Okay, Um Right now, I feel like maybe you're not so passionate about work as maybe you once was. Um, so use structure. If you're feeling a bit lazy as we come to the end of your year, use structure to increase your success. Get organized, okay? Write it all down. Start your day an hour earlier. You don't need to take immediate action. This is reversed, okay? But in order to, um, you know, get success, get organized, guys. And I feel like it's just organizing your mind and regrouping yourself in your mind here. So things might slow down um, as, you know, it comes to the end of your year. You just, your mind may be focused elsewhere rather than career. If you're feeling stressed at work, it will get easier, okay? It's about to clear. Tens are about ending, so the stress from work is about to subside here, okay? let's do Sagittarius now Sagittarius career let's see six of swords so positive movement in your guys career I'm glad we've switched from that energy um, positive movement forward here six of swords so if you did want to move work or anything like that you can you could be moving up in work like getting a promotion and things like that uh, four of pentacles yeah stable becoming stable in your job if you um, don't have a job um, then your money you need to spend and save wisely but you're quite you'll be okay you know there's no major rushing here as i say that the knight of swords comes out um so you may be talking to financial advisors talking to somebody about starting a job the two of pentacles was last out there knight of swords here with the six of swords and the four of pentacles here so if you are not in work here um I think it's by choice okay so maybe even retirement or something like that um so i feel like maybe you're stable nothing to majorly worry about with these cards okay if you're um working very hard and feel like you're not having enough money or it's um you know just watch what you spend okay it's nothing major just watch what you spend at this time it does show that you may be signing a contract 
that maybe say if you started a work and it was temporary or it was um, like on a probation sort of thing. Um, I see you signing a more stable contract, okay? Taking action with the Knight of Swords there to sign something here or maybe even get a job, okay? So if you are um, out of work with the Four of Pentacles, it sees you moving into work with the Six of Swords there and the Knight of Swords. Taking action in a positive direction. Signing contracts here. <clears throat> getting a promotion, okay, so that's very good, um, nothing to worry about here, the six of pentacles, because um, we have a four and a two, it shows, you know, you have a good steady stream of money coming in, even if you're not in work, okay, maybe not a life of luxury, but you have a good steady stream of money coming in, um, and it sees you moving positive forward. So you could be changing how you think with the Six of Swords. Like, right, you know, I'm going to get my money right. I'm going to take action now. So I, you've made a very positive decision with the Two of Pentacles. Look, it's, it's even blowing a horn here. So it's like, yeah, I've, I've made a decision. It's, you know, time. It's judgment time. So I'm going to take action now, move forward um, positively here. You, you're thinking in a positive state of mind. But very stable with the four of pentacles um you could be saving at the moment not wanting to spend any money it could be a decision to um save or you know you're now able to repay debts okay um if you have any if you don't well done you're awesome at life <laughs> um so yeah you know just taking positive and direct action here um, to move forward in your life, making positive decisions regarding your career, making the right decision, the decision that's right for you, okay? Taking no prisoners here. Like, if you're not getting paid enough at work, you're happy to stand up and have this conversation with the Six of Swords and say, you know, um, can we, you know, renegotiate this payment, you know, things like that. Having honest conversations at work or, you know, having job interviews and things like that with the Knight of Swords there and being very successful at it, okay? Being able to talk and charm. We're in Libra season, as I said, at this moment. So this energy um, will be making you conversate more. Um, so, you know, it's a good time to communicate with people. So like I said, if you're looking for a job or making a decision to go get a job, um, you know, you'll be able to charm people here you'll be giving a good impression and being able to sign a contract that, you know, is secure here. Let's get one of the fairy tarot cards there. I love the big, big cards, but I've got such little hands. It's hard for them to fit in. I'm really small, it doesn't, it's like crazy. Let's see, Sagittarius, Queen of Autumn, yeah, definitely, be practical with respect to how you proceed, the ability to make anything more beautiful, meeting someone who can help your dreams come true here, yeah, taking action there, um, very good uh, money card, Queen of Pentacles, being in charge of your own money, your own destiny. And we see that with the Six of Swords, like you're now really confident. Okay, I'm going to be in charge. I'm going to start my own business. Um, so maybe I'm going to go to um, the bank with the Four of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles there, sign an agreement for a loan into my own business or something like that, okay? So it's very positive energy for you guys for work right now. Let's see. Capricorn. Let's see how Capricorn's doing career-wise. Capricorn, the Knight of Wands. 
So you do need to take immediate action, but it's positive action, okay? We just seen the other Knight of Wands in the other deck and it said, um, you know, take immediate action and you can overcome these challenges, whatever you're facing here and come out the other end very successful here. Feeling motivated, energized to go and get that career, that job that you're after. Four of Cups. Let's see. King of Cups. Capricorn, leave the water alone. <laughs> And the devil card of course um, so Capricorn here you need to take action on something you are really passionate about okay something follow your desires here okay you know when we see the devil card in career readings it's wonderful it's very strong it's very committed it's like a dog with a bone so, you know you can't let go of it so you know what do you love doing here? What's your passion here? I feel like any other job, you could be quite bored with the discontented with um, a job here. So take immediate action, okay? And what will happen when you follow what you actually love, what you actually want to do here? It could be something to do with healing. So let's say um, you make healing potions here as the king of cups is holding a cup here you know if this is your desire follow your desire your passion here okay it will pay off take immediate action okay with the knight of wands um, I feel like as well you'll be quite charming when approaching people um you'll be able to get this moving quicker than you actually believe it's something that um, you love doing something creative here, okay? So maybe you make candles, okay? And you feel like, well, I'm just bored at home, but I'm making whatever this is in these cups here, but you'd be able to sell it. Doesn't have to be um, the cups, as, but I'm just telling you what I'm seeing here. When you are bored and you are doing something that you enjoy, um, something you're passionate about, okay? This can make you money if you take immediate action now. It could be that, you know, you use these as singing bowls. You could be a singer. So you may do something while bored. Maybe you are good at working out, okay? You go to the gym, you take care of yourself, you know how to feed yourself properly to do what's right for your body, okay? This what you do as a hobby or as fun can pay off for you, okay? If you take action on this, you can't, because it seems like you may be not speaking up on your talent here. The King of Cups um, is somebody who doesn't speak up on their talent, so maybe you love singing and, you know, people don't really know, but here maybe you're making something or drawing something here and it could make you a lot of money here. With the devil card, the knight of wands, it tells me if you take action on something you love, you know, um, I feel like it's something that's your hobby here or just something you do without realizing you're doing it. You know, this is like your calling. You're not realizing um, you're just sat here doing it like when you're bored or, oh, okay, I'm bored, I'll go to the gym. You could start like a training program. You could start a fitness page. On Instagram, for example, there's so many things these days that you don't realize, okay, this is my passion and I just follow it, but you could be doing it as well, okay? Like I said, with the devil card, it's something that you're always going to do, so it's something that's natural to you, your natural talent here, your God-given gift, okay? You're a hard worker here, okay? You work hard, so whatever it is that's your passion, 
your joy here like i said it could be anything from singing it could be anything from running maybe you're extremely good looking okay and you could be like an instagram model and not realize how much it pays off maybe you take really good selfies look at this king of cups <laughs> so you know um i'm just giving you examples here because it is something that you're passionate about that maybe you are having toxic thoughts about and self-doubt with the four of cups like now nah, this ain't gonna work out it's not gonna make me any money trust me following your um passion is your life purpose i get that all the time what's my life purpose what's your passion what do you love doing even if it's just when you're bored okay i'm bored so i'm maybe i'm gonna play video games and when you, you if you love playing these video games you can make money from these video games okay so if you have like um a job that you're bored in here then um like i said follow your passion i feel like you could be letting self-doubt with the devil card um creep in like well no the bills need paying so i can't really do all you know um that would be the devil card in a negative form in this reading so let's have a look at the um fairy tarot deck for you guys queen of summers okay so we have the king already the queen of summer says listen to your heart what did i tell you listen to your heart your passions intuitive insight you can trust taking care of others perhaps too much so this can say, you know, like I was saying about, okay, I need a job. I need to pay the bills. I need to look after the family. Reminds me of one of my um, favorite songs. Um, it's The Dream featuring Mariah Carey. And she said, and there's a scene at the beginning of the video and it says, we got to keep the lights on. And he's trying to become a singer and, you know, they're struggling for money. And he says, it takes time to get money. So, but he ends up this big singer. So it does take time to get paid, but following your passion is always going to be the way ahead, right? Take immediate action. Good time for you guys to take action on that. Let's see. Aquarius. Aquarius, what do we have going on in Aquarius career? Eight of Swords, feeling stuck, huh? King of Swords. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. Why does the Nine of Pentacles, why does she look so happy to be paid? I mean, unhappy. Why does she look so unhappy to be paid? Six of Cups there. Okay, Aquarius. So, Eight of Swords. Hmm. Huh. So, it seems like um, you've been thinking about this quite a lot. And look what I mean about the Nine of Pentacles. In the Nine of Pentacles, you're paid. You know, you're abundant. So it feels like you've got a job you got money you're like what does money mean right so what why is everybody so miserable in these cards i know you guys have been having it tough in the romantic sense here so maybe it's like you're just saying yeah work works work Money's money, but I've got all these memories flooding around in my head here. Of days gone by, feeling stuck in your job. I feel like you may even do your job to perfection. 
you know you may be the best at what you do here but you feel trapped and stuck at work maybe people are talking about you because you're standing there alone here with this king of swords so maybe you're not on good terms with the boss right now people may be taking you as cold and argumentative i feel like you just got a lot going on in your mind so it's like you're just very independent here so it shows that you know um you have money but why is she so sad to have money I don't feel like maybe you're not happy at this job or you're coming across to people like you're not happy at work but maybe it's just your romantic life you're not happy with with the six of cups this soulmate it is all tied together you know your finances and career your finances they seem fine and um you know it's like well yeah I've got money you know I'm okay with my money right now I'm pretty sure there's probably some Aquariuses who aren't, but you just feel stuck in your situation at the moment. It's you're trying to gain clarity. You're trying to think, what's my next move here? It's like you have memories here. Um, you know, you've had happy times maybe at this job. Maybe you've had bad times at this job and you're remembering things either happier or worse than they actually happened. And you're just like, I just want to do my work, okay? I've come to work, I do my work. And I get paid. That's it. <laughs> like, work's work. That's Aquarius, work's work. If you are looking for a job and you don't have a job, okay, um... Or maybe even if you don't have a job that you're happy with. Um, I feel like you need to be clear with yourself and say, look, I'm just not happy in this situation. Because it can affect other areas of your life. Like I say, it can affect romance. Finance, finances and career can affect your romance here. You could be like heading to the top of your career right now. Because these are these are positive cards here. Nine of Pentacles, King of Swords are positive cards. You could even be like a lawyer or a judge or a doctor even. Um, so you could be at the top of your game and getting good money. You could be working out in the fields and still be quite happy and at the top of your game. Because I feel like you do everything here to perfection because the swords are lined up. But I feel like there's just something that's saying to me, you know, you're unhappy. Maybe like at work you have too much time to think, too much time on your hands. If you wasn't a very high paid job, um, there'd be too much time on your hands. And maybe if you're in a job that's like outside working, um, it's like you can do this job. You're overqualified for this job that you do even. Okay, and you do it. Because obviously we need money to live, but you're not happy about doing this. It's like you're daydreaming all the time, like at work, or you can't focus at work properly. You've got too much things on your mind with your career right now. Let's see. Let's get a romance angel. Not a romance angel. See, if you guys have got romance on your mind or, you know, whatever happened on your mind... making me say romance angels these are the fairy oh my god the lovers true love that is long lasting choices made from the heart a return to good health so if you're not happy at this work and you're just doing it um because you know it brings money in and things um i don't feel like it's a good time for you to change okay 
you may have a lot going on in your mind but you have to sort of stay in this job um, at the moment okay it's not a good time energy wise for you guys to change seems like this is the best opportunity for you right now if you're out of work um, I feel like you feel stuck or a situations keeping your mind tied up here so I feel like maybe you should work on you know freeing your mind clearing your mind here getting clarity you may be wanting answers from people from work or from love here that you're just not getting so it's you're thinking about what was said conversations that were had it's like everything is being so neat like everything has its place and I feel like you're trying to separate you know your love life from work but it's like I feel like people see it on the outside of you even though you're doing your job very well okay I feel like you've got a lot on your mind with the lovers there and the six of cups okay let's see Pisces what Pisces have going on career wise Pisces have going on career wise Ooh, five of swords you're ready to take off heads at work people gossiping and that you just can't be bothered you're ready to cut their heads off <laughs> Uh, maybe you're a um, surgeon <laughs> I, I don't know um, but yeah it seems like here at work no matter what you do it just feels like it's a lose-lose situation there could be gossip and things going on at work all sorts of stupidness here but um, you just got to keep going you've just got to keep going here you may feel like well, when I go to work, it doesn't work out. If I stay at home, it doesn't work out because I don't get paid. So you could be feeling like you're in a lose-lose situation at the moment here. Don't worry, it's this airy energy is not agreeing with you, Pisces, okay? The Hermit. So you may be... Um, you may be better suited working a job where you're on your own here, okay? I always say to people... Um, I, I did cleaning jobs and people always used to say to me, why do you do cleaning jobs? And I'm like, do you know what headspace you get with a cleaning job um, as a hermit, okay? Like, you know, you get to be able to do what you do and, you know, clear your mind and don't have all the extra gossip of, you know, a workplace and that sort of drama going on, okay? So you'll be wanting to keep to yourself at this time or maybe wanting to work independently. If you're wanting to work independently here, um, you could be a teacher. Um, like you may have something to teach. Or you could be looking for a teacher with the Hermit card. A spiritual... Okay, okay. Stop, Pisces. Stop. King of Wands, Four of Swords. So... Needing healing and to take action on that, okay? Um, needing rest there. Um, you may walk out of a job or be fired from a job. Five of Wands, Queen of Swords. What do you want to tell me? Money's tight. Eight of Cups, you left a job or was fired from a job here. Um, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups. Okay, you could have even been treated unfairly at work with the Justice card. Um, with these fives energy, work may be quite tough right now. There may be no escaping it. Maybe you can't leave because you just have to, like I said before, keep paying the bills here. Money could be tight, okay? Um, so, you're looking for a job that you'd be happy in. You will get a job offer here, okay? You just have to be clear about what you want from a job, um, what you can do in a job, what your abilities are. 
even you need to maybe cut off a job okay that's making you um unhappy it's like working to be poor okay i feel like somebody's working to still be very poor like with the four of pentacles um you know having to spend and save wisely um so yeah i i definitely feel like you could be working very hard while learning something so you could be still in school with the hermit here and it's starting to take its toll okay you may feel like should i just leave school don't leave school don't leave um education um if you're being treated unfairly at work um i feel like you have to stand up with the five of wands don't i feel like you know you could be having inner conflict here um with the five of wands you know arguing with a boss or something like that it looks like it could even be giving you stomach pains like the worry um and stress of it all from this job so it seems like at this time this airy energy does not agree with you um you may want to walk out you may be arguing with the boss or whoever you're working with um and you may want to walk away if you have already walked away or don't have a job the lack of money is very stressful for you guys okay but with the ace of pentacles ace of swords and ten of cups there there is a more positive offer coming for you okay so maybe it's best to search for a new job while um still working okay because i do see somebody leaving a job or or you know being fired from a job here okay i just feel like you can't take any more of the rubbish it's a lose-lose situation you know they're treating you unfairly here okay so it's either you know you say something to them but it still seems like a lose-lose situation you still end up um with no money here you still end up stressed needing rest um and maybe without a job with the hermit there okay so it could show you learning something new take action though with the king of wands okay guys so if you're out of work and you know money's tight take action but go for a job you enjoy doing don't go for a job for the sake of a job because then it won't last long okay it won't be good for you it won't be healthy for you um you'll end up getting bored you'll end up getting fired you'll end up leaving so go for a job that's suited to you what you can do what you're happy doing um but actions needed there okay i feel like out of the most you're probably sorry out of them all you're the most stressful stressed here at work people could be talking about you um spreading all kinds of lies arguments things like that okay and you're sick of it here you're fed up you want to walk away but there is um something better out there for you okay guys let's get you a fairy tarot card here four four of pentacles again flipped over okay manage your resources wisely guys so yeah you could be struggling at the moment pisces for money a job things like that in your career it could be pretty tough this airy energy isn't agreeing with you we're not doing big reads thank you just aries let's move on to you aries oh the death card so changes at work okay changes in your career king of cups happy changes huh positive happy changes here good news coming in the world card wonderful yeah aries good time for you to change um career if you don't have um a job it's a good time to go and get a job okay guys um six of pentacles it's a good time to start a new business here um a good time to apply yourself a good time for change okay new cycles to begin to close down old cycles that are not serving you here um like i said 
to Capricorn, um, doing things that you're passionate about, maybe putting your money into yourself, your own business here. It's a wonderful time to do that. Make major changes, okay? So no longer working for somebody else, but working for yourself with the world card. Absolutely beautiful cards for you there, Aries. It's a wonderful time. You may be in the spotlight, okay, with this world card. So it may be that people are watching you, maybe you're vlogging, um, things like that, okay? I feel like um, Venus will help you here with the King of Cups, okay? So you, it may be that your appearance helps you. <laughs> I don't know why where this comes from. Maybe you're a model or something here um, because it seems like you're centre stage here. Could just be your business. You may be doing something. You may be the photographer. You may be looking at beautiful things, okay? The show uh, that you're going to put your invest in here. Six of um, Pentacles, you're investing money here, okay, into yourself, into something beautiful, into something that will make major changes that will last a lifetime, okay? So very positive changes, closing down of cycles, endings to the old way you used to make money. Again, the six of uh, pentacles can be like a loan into a business, but I feel like it's just you investing in yourself. Looking good, feeling good here. Starting a new cycle, a new way of earning money, a new um, way to feel happy and good. This You feel very happy inside yourself here. So even if you got promoted here, um, you're very happy about this. You're enjoying this time. It's a good time for you guys with your career. Very positive. Let's get you um, a fairy tarot card here. Let's see what else is going on. If you already started this new business, you're about to go into a time where it starts to give back to you. So let's say you invested in a business or um, some sort of investment here you're moving into a cycle where it starts to give back to you maybe you were just putting money and money into your business it never paid back to you but now it is nine of winter unfounded fear okay so that's the nine of swords in the normal deck it's unfounded so you know like i said if you was putting money into this business you may be like yo it's you know not working out yet it hasn't paid off it's all about to change this is unfounded fear Focusing on the worst case scenario, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem, okay? So, I see positivity here. I see changes in your career, but changes for the better. You may be worried about these changes. Changes can be scare, scary, you know, so a lot of people are scared of change, but these are good changes for you, Aries, okay? Enjoy it. Let's see where we're at. Taurus. Taurus here. Let's see Taurus, Korea. Empress, good, good Taurus. Nine of Swords, you guys are worrying about it as well, but it's going to be abundant for you guys, okay? Nine of Wands, Three of Cups. See, I told you, you have this worry maybe because things may be slow right now or you may feel like things are blocked right now but with the empress here and the three of cups you're going to have good news coming so even if there's delays doesn't mean that this abundant energy is not coming for you guys okay um don't allow this worry to grow this nine of swords worry okay um look at her on her knees she's like i pray this works out for me Okay, I pray I get this job. Um, good news is on the way, okay? Even if you feel like, oh, damn, I didn't get the job. You were blocked from a certain thing for a reason, okay? Always remember that. 
it's something better in the works coming towards you. Good news here and celebrations coming. Okay, a job where you know that allows for a life of luxury. So I feel like if you've been in maybe dead end jobs and things like that, or maybe you're worried about finances here, um, you know, am I going to have enough to pay the bills? Am I, you know, am I going to have enough this month? Um, I feel like you do nine nine. So I feel like you could be like every penny you make, you having to pay out, and it's quite stressful for you. But don't worry, there is definitely changes on the way. When these nines reach tens, then, you know, it's all about to change. So it's just like a rest period. So there may be delays. Business may feel like it slows down or income may feel like it slows down or bills go up. Often does at this time of year, doesn't it? To be fair, um, thinking about it logically, um, we move into the colder months and... We use more gas and electric and things because it's darker and things like that. So you, you know, maybe needing to put out at this time. But don't worry, there is happy changes on the way. There is good news on the way here and abundance, okay, in your career. So this may be good news about getting a job that brings more money or, um, you know, some money that you're not expecting here, some finances, because I feel like, you know, with here, these two nines, I'm feeling like I'm working a job to pay the bills, okay? I've not got, you know, money to spare. But there is happy changes here coming with the Three of Cups where you'll have, you know, money to lash out on yourself here, make positive changes. Let's get you guys a Fairy Tarot card as well here and see... So if you are feeling like, you know, right now maybe you're struggling or you're just meeting your bills sort of thing, don't worry, that's going to change. There is good news on the way here, something to celebrate. Maybe um, a sum of money comes in for you guys as well. Queen of Pentacles, like I said, um, money will be good here. I know it, with the nines, you may be worrying and things like that. Your finances and career will be fine, okay? You may be doing a job that involves a lot of socialising, so it's quite draining. Um, just take time to yourself with this nine of wands. People look at the nine of wands as a blockage. I look at the nine of wands as protection, okay? So, you know, maybe you're feeling drained from work and you're like, I don't get time to spend with my friends or I don't get time to go out. Um, the thing is, you know, rest is just as important, okay? Um, so maybe your friends are busy and things like that. It's just protection so that you have this time to rest, okay? The Nine of Wands is a soldier in a battlefield resting, you know, before going on. But what you go on to is this Three of Cups, this good news, okay? The Queen of Autumn is the Queen of Pentacles in the normal deck i feel like with the empress and the queen of pentacles with venus coming in you want to look good especially if you are socializing at, um you know you have to socialize for a living or even have to look good for a living um you could be working in a bar or a restaurant here so you know it could be that sort of you're in a social environment but it says be practical with respect to how you proceed the ability to make anything more beautiful. Meeting someone who can help your dreams come true here, okay? So I feel like you get an influx of money from somebody who's generous here. But I feel like if you're wanting to spend money on clothes and things like that and you're thinking, you know, my finances just allow me to pay the bills, pay the rent or whatever and, you know, buy the food. And I'm not able to splash out at the moment. It's coming. Just be practical with how you use your money at the moment okay and things will change somebody is coming into your life so they may offer you a job with better um income here okay so let's see gemini gemini how's gemini's career right now Four of Cups, Nine of Cups. Okay. Okay.
Okay, Gemini. So, let's see your career. Nine of Swords as well. Overthinking and worrying about something. Eight of Wands. Everybody's got so much on their mind right now. Nine of Pentacles, so another two nines. Okay. So you guys could be worrying about money, but you're going to get um, positive news actually about money. You could be bored in the place you make money or bored with this job. Um, you could be wanting to... Um, like I said here before with Capricorn, um, doing something that you're actually passionate about. So you may have to go to a job that you don't enjoy to make money here. But there's something else that you do that you want to earn a large income from. Okay, so you may be having um, news coming about that. It may be that you need more advertising, okay? So if you're doing a personal business that maybe is not doing so well or as well as you hoped or you are worrying that it won't do well, maybe you need more advertising here, okay? So if you don't have a job um, and you want a job, then you have to put the information out there, put your name on job sites. You have to um, do what it takes here, write letters to companies and, you know, why you're better and things like that. So if you're out of a job, I feel like um, it's quite draining being this bored at home all the time. It leads your mind to overthink and um, really be bored, you know, and get yourself into a state of worry, unnecessary worry. Okay, I feel like you need to be busy. You need to be active with the eight of wands there. You're a sort of person that needs to be doing something. And if you're not, you're bored or unhappy here. Okay, so you could be unhappy with your money situation as well. With the nine of pentacles there, the four of cups next to that. You could be unhappy with your money situation or even how you make money. I, d I definitely feel here like you want to be doing something else. Eight of wands, um, you know you're waiting for something to happen, waiting for something exciting to happen and it's quite boring, whatever it is you're doing. You may just be sat at home, um, but it could be quite boring, your career at the moment. To you, um, to somebody else, it may be quite exciting, but it shows unfounded um, fear. It shows you worrying about something, focusing on the worst case scenario, um, so you're like, if you're focused on the worst case scenario, you may be like, okay, if I leave this job, I don't have any money, but I'm not happy at this job. So it seems like a lot of people are not happy with how they're making their money, how they're living their life, you know? Um, sort of, we have to conform to society. We need to make money. But, you know, it takes away most of our life. If you're at these jobs for, you know, 8 to 12 hours a day, um, it can be quite draining. So you may be worried that even you're missing out on life. You could be bored. You may just go to work, come home, and that's it. So, yeah, you make money here, but that's about it. And you're waiting for something else to happen. Eight of Wands, you're waiting for something exciting news. You're waiting for Cupid to shoot his arrow there. It's like waiting to be discovered as a model or, um, you know, waiting for a promoter to hear your music and be like, yeah, I, I want you. Or waiting for to be one of Chris Brown's or Beyonce's backup dancers here. You know, you're waiting for something exciting to happen here. It seems like, you, you know, there's no fun at this work. Nothing enjoyable about this work for you. Let's get you guys some... A fairy tarot card as well. The magician. Yeah. That's the... Um, I was going to say alchemist. <laughs> In the normal deck there. Um, you can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success. 
So if you want those changes, you know, you can do it. You know, you are the architect of your life here. You can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need. So if you're unhappy there, definitely go ahead. So we have cancer. Let's see for cancer. Their career. Oops. Okay. The tower. Okay. Leaving a job, are we? It actually is reverse. Justice. Oof. King of Swords. And King of Wands. Okay. Um, the tower swung round and became reversed. So you might be um, averting a crisis at work. Okay. Look at this tower the right way up. Um, so you might be averting a crisis at work or you could have even had an accident at work and waiting for some sort of ruling on this with the justice card um, or you may need to be taking action against your workplace. Maybe they fired you unfairly here, um, but it says, you know, you need to take action and you need to seek um, maybe legal advice here about your work situation cancers you may be having to sign a contract and i would get um a solicitor or somebody with more knowledge on um, some sort of contract than you have with the tower reverse so i feel like to avoid this tower moment take care of it now prevention is cheaper than the cure right so to prevent this tower from happening get somebody else who knows maybe more about um, these contracts than you do here to make sure you're being treated fairly at work okay you may even need to speak to the bosses and say look how I'm being treated at work isn't right and I will take action if it's not sorted out here okay and then the bosses may you know look at the situation and avoid the disaster of it maybe even going to court because you may be waiting for an answer or some sort of payout here some legal action at work cancers you know um being treated unfairly so yeah maybe you had to leave a job or was forced to leave a job and it wasn't your fault i don't know where there's a blame there's a claim right guys i don't know um i know like in america more than the uk there's slander laws so maybe if somebody was talking about you i know there is in the uk's but it's just not we just don't do it as much as americans um but so i feel like maybe if you was unfairly fired at work or you had an accident at work here that wasn't your fault i feel like an advert because we have adverts in the uk that say if you've had an accident that wasn't your fault, you <laughs> call this number. So, But I feel like something like that's going on, okay? Um, you may need to speak to somebody about being treated fairly, being discriminated against and things like that at work. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's get you guys um, a fairy tarot card as well here. If you're out of a job here, um, you may find that there are some people like who are legal secretaries or things like that, um, that are taking on apprentices, um, things like that. Somebody who's very busy may need um, like an assistant. So, yeah, let's see. High Priestess, trust in your intuition, careful reflection before taking action, insight that comes through meditation. I don't know why I'm finding it so funny. Um, it's just when it said um, careful reflection before you take action, because I feel like if you do go up a big com against a big company, they will be lawyered up. They will have all these lawyers okay um 
to try and fight against you so you know if it is the case and you're was unfairly discriminated against go ahead okay trust your intuition if if action needs to be taken go ahead and take action if you're not sure meditate reflect before taking action okay guys so let's see leos let's see with leos leos leo korea Ooh, good the wheel the lovers we need a good one. We need some good news, Leos. High Priestess and the Lovers. Ten of Cups and the Lovers. Okay, Leos. Seems like your love life's turning around. <laughs> now let's ask about your career. Only joking. Ace of Cups. Beautiful opportunity. Oops. Use your intuition to follow what job you want there. Um, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and the Death card. Wonderful. Look at this. It's a good. Um, you're about to get an amazing offer. It could be um, some sort of inheritance as well. You're going to have a good influx of money coming in. Six of Pentacles. This is good money energy for you guys, okay? And the Death card. Um, so yeah, there's going to be some major changes here, some major transformations in your money. You could have put a lot of money into a house at this time, um, Leo's okay. Um, with that 10 of pentacles, because look at the house there and the tens, but with the six of pentacles, um, we see, you know, this is good money energy. Okay. Balancing your money very well getting a loan you could be getting a mortgage for a house a nice big house there but we see it being accepted and things like that to do with your finances wonderful offers with the ace of cups there major changes good money good finances leo um maybe you get in a job maybe you get a job in a bank here looks like you're gonna rob a bank because you're gonna guys are gonna have so much money here coming in like this will be like six figures you're gonna start a new job um, hopefully something you love doing. You might be psychic or just trust your intuition there with the Ace of Cups, okay? Um, because I feel like you may be guided to a certain job here or it's maybe even like a loan. It could even be like a win of money because I've seen the Wheel of Fortune. So it could be like, um, what do they call it? like a windfall of money with the Ten of Cups, uh, Ten of Pentacles there, okay? So it's a very large six-figure sum of money. So your finances will be very positive here. If it's like a change of job, you could be even maybe buying like a shop or buying something here that changes your whole financial um, tax zone, you know? tax bracket you're going up a tax bracket here this is good money let's get you guys a fairy tarot card here as well three of autumn follow your passion when it comes to your career be the best at what you do being compensated for your creative talent yeah it's going to definitely be something that you know, you love doing here as well with the three of autumn. That's the three of pentacles. Good, good work and um, good career opportunities for you guys that make you a lot of money with the ten of pentacles. OK, so even it's a good time to start a new career. Um, it's a good time to play the lottery. You guys are going to have a huge sum of money coming in. And last but not least, let's do Virgo. And see what their career opportunities are and finances. Career and finances for Virgo, please. Let's 
so let's see career and finances for virgo the hermit you know the last couple of reads i've got for virgos the hermit card has always come out first here so doing something independent Neighbor Pentacles, starting a new independent business there, working for yourself. It's a good time for you guys to do that. Start learning something new. King of Pentacles could be working for um, a very good business here, okay? But it seems like if you start something new here, um, maybe even something spiritual, um, it shows with the page of pentacles it's just starting but it'll grow into something big it'll grow into the king of pentacles here so wonderful time for you guys to start Woo! success chariot here yeah if you start something um even something small here it's going to grow into a big success okay big money here um it's like you start a company and it becomes very successful Okay, you may only start with five pounds. You may start investing in things. Um, you could start working for yourself, Amazon trading, eBay selling, but it ends up making you a lot of money and you become very successful here, okay? Great time to change jobs and start working for a better career. Even if you feel like, you know, oh, I'm starting at the bottom again, it'll be the best opportunity for you to do it now, okay? Um here with the hermit mode it does see you learning or teaching something new so maybe you start a new career or you start learning something new um a, a university or a college that sets you up for a very positive career here okay wonderful there wonderful new beginnings and opportunities here that pay off for you virgo okay bring you success even if you've tried something like this before a new approach with a chariot shows this approach being very successful okay like it may only need um, a small amount of money putting in that may have to come from your pocket but it pays off so let's say you write a book and you have to pay in the beginning but it shows you know the book or whatever it is being successful like i said it could be maybe you have to pay to go to university but it pays off for your career here and it's something you've been thinking about doing for a long time with the hermit card you know you've been um soul searching what shall i do for my career what's my life path what decision shall i make here and you finally yeah prince of springs the right way up this time immediate action a challenge you can successfully manage a passionate relationship so it's something that, you know, maybe you've been passionate about, you now have the self-confidence to put in the money or the effort here and it shows it paying off and being great for your finances to make a decision like that at this time, whether it's learning something new. It doesn't have to be in university. Maybe you start hairdressing. Maybe you start making clothes and you start selling them on eBay. Um, if you do this now, it's a, it's a very successful um, thing for you to do right now. Okay, good luck, guys.